Oh, a new gaming week and it is alpha set. The sound is off because the music can give me a nine sometimes. But yeah, alpha set begins a gaming week. You can see much of it. Cans and bottles, which have just gone in the wrong one. Cartons going in the front. I'm going to listen to the posy called Brown Belt. It should be interesting, so I'm not too sure what type of game it is. Oh, there we go. Fill on the grid by making words from letters in the circle. That's going to be interesting. A bit of a surprise, but we're back on bullet beat on Windows. The reason being that there was an update where we apparently did three of the five <laughs> in May. We went over, so we're back on it to redo it. We complete it for, I think, maybe fourth time. Well, there you go, a nice way for unlocked achievements for this game. And the reason it is a bit of a strange one is because if you look at the last update, we've done two today. And the 5,000 one was done three months ago. Friday the update, not as special sadly this week. Not even better than last week. 9875, because we had no record whatsoever. It was just a standard 30. 300k for the year is a positive. As it is just shy of 600 days, that should be completed. Not next week, but we have the next. But yeah, another board finished. So it's back to start in the top corner. 140, starting off. No statistics time, 5-4-1 overall, 7-4-7-5 seven, seven, for Wigan, 37 against Warrington which equals the record that St. Helens, so it's 74 between the two, 19 wins, 15 losses, 2 draws, it is a 2 game winning streak, 75th home loss, hopefully not, 3 consecutive home wins is a hope, as is 3 consecutive wins and 70th sport attendance, well rugby league in 2022. So half time and it's not something we're used to saying here, Wigan are behind. Wigan 4, Warrington 6. So we were worried at half time but we're not as worried now. Nice turning on, Wigan 32, Warrington 6. It's part one of a triple because we're next door for the next two days. It's the old KR reserves tomorrow afternoon and then it's the women on Sunday. So game one done. To go. Because the buses are sadly still on site and probably will be for a long time to come. Hit trains again. We're off to Walgate and the walk to Robin Park. So we're now at Portland Station. So we're at Portland Station. So we're on the journey done. We're now at Wigan Walgate Station. So that was the slightly short walk before we get to Robin Park Arena. There you go, there's Walgate. So, after two walks and a train drive, we're happy as you can see, a bit knackered like. <coughs> What's the reserves against OKR? Okay, yeah. That's 5 4 two overall, 4 7 6 for Wigan. Strangely enough, it's the first time we've ever seen Wigan against KR reserves. I'm not too sure as to why that is. We've both been in the same division for many years. Maybe it's always been a Saturday we've done football. Never know. That means you're the 78 team we've seen a Wigan team play. We are hoping to avoid the 75th home loss. We're also hoping to get a 315th overall win. It's in 305th home game overall. 14th reserves, which I would say reserves isn't attended that much in the past. And we're looking for four consecutive wins, which will all be home wins as well. And the 71st rugby league attendance in 2022. So our time here at RPA, and well, it's a bit of a surprise to me. It's <laughs> actually a draw. So far, Wigan 8, okay, R8, and Wigan down to 12 with about 6 minutes left the half, so it can only get better. So, full time here at RPA, and well, at second half to go, I was pretty packed. It could be an 8 all at half time, full time, Wigan Res 42, KR Res 18. So, that's that done, that's played to 1 2 this weekend. Tomorrow should be a win, I would think, hopefully, for the women as we're back here tomorrow. Probably sat from a little different angle as the women host of the so the Wigan reporting continues this week first on Saturday we did the reserves against the Robins which was a very good win match report from it as you can see nice to have the name at the bottom so one of the updates we're on lab crisis on the windows see if we can do this update and get a recompletion back There we go, unlocked all the achievements for this game, 2000, uh, 3000 now, 3000 now, 
This is the box racing to do as well. We're not sure when we'll do that. So, part three of the weekend, we're at Robin Park Arena. Where, well, you might be a little longer than expected because the game is supposed to start at two o'clock. And as you can see where we're stood here, there's no opposition coach because apparently they're still stuck on the motorway. So, we'll see. But it should be Wigan against other three old women whenever it's kick out later. Statistics to come. So, in RPA, statistics for today's one. 5-4-3 overall, 4 7, seven Wigan. Second again is Hood's Women, which was a bit of a memorable one. Up in Yorkshire, earlier in the year. A bit of rain. Well, I remember one because obviously I went from single to in a relationship that day. Is a one win against them. Is the second women's double this season after the Leeds one, where we've seen both teams home and away. Could be a third with possibly St. Helens later in the month, but We'll see. Here's the 22nd Women's Super League game. 57th Women's. Hoping, as we have been doing all weekend, to have with the 75th home loss. Is the hope also that it's a fifth consecutive win and a fifth consecutive home win because we haven't played away for a while. It's a seven second attendance in 2022. So, half time here at RPA. So far, so good. Wigan Women 16, Eastfield Giants Women 10. So, full time here at RPA, comfortable in the end, Wigan women 42, Othersfield Giants 4. It's something we haven't said for, well, a fair few weeks to be honest. That's a Wigan win in weekend, played 3-1-3 three, three, and we've been at all three of them. All in different guises, Friday as a fan in the stands, Saturday doing coverage yesterday and Sunday also doing coverage, but in a different way. So, winning weekend all good. Sunday was the women's report, which was a little different because we wrote it in the stand because we were obviously covering with Charlotte the women's media and obviously the Wigan media often them set herself. Seven different try scores, quite a fun one to cover. As always, the main thing is the name at the bottom. As you'll see earlier in the video, these two, Anna Davies and Laurie Mbville, do feature for a special reason and we came up with an idea a couple of weeks ago that if we did have the chance of doing reaction, then we'd choose these two to do so. And the reason we were doing so is because they share a household and it's quite a good story and brilliant that it did actually work. Obviously thanks to Charlotte for facilitating that and as you can see, three things in one weekend, all good. So we depart Robin Park Arena as we just said. For the third win of the weekend, played 3-1-3, three, three. also with three different levels, obviously starting on Friday there with the Warrington win, and then obviously at the arena just now with the women's win, back and up with the reserves from yesterday. So to end the week's gaming, that's Lab Crisis and it's on the box. There you go, another completion, unlocked all team to this game, and that completes the week. Very interesting Sunday, that's for sure.